searching, Lord, Lord. Okay, friends and neighbors, today I want to show you how to play a pretty simple old tune, traditionally typically known as Sally Gooden. Had another title, older title than that. Um, it's escaping me right now. I'll try to write it in uh, in the description if I can remember. I learned this tune originally from a VHS tape of Hiram Stamper. Hiram Stamper up there in Kentucky, wonderful old fiddle player. The tape was recorded, I, think, I want to say 1983, so a couple years before I was born. And Hiram Stamper played Sally Gooden on the fiddle. I kind of forgot about the tune, and, and I learned to play it originally in just standard G tuning. And I kind of forgot about it until this past year, I saw Aaron Stevens play, play it again, and he called it Rooster Crow. Different, different type of, kind of a different take on Sally Gooden. I added a couple things in there. And uh, he directed me toward an Uncle Dave Macon recording called Rooster Crow Medley. So in that recording, he's basically playing Sally Good and he even sings some Sally Good and verses. But he uh, also sings about a rooster and, and just a couple of other old kind of early sounding plantation verses, um, which I had to clean up for, for my YouTube performance. Anyhow, first things first, if you want the tab for this tune, I'll direct you to this link over here. If you click on this link, it'll take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks for a very low monthly fee that we ask of you there. You get the tab for this and hundreds of other early archaic traditional banjo pieces that I teach there. You'll also get access to our private Discord forums and you know, the Patreon forum as well. You get direct access to me, etc. We hope you'll come and join us there. All right, for those of you who want to jump into it, I'll do that now. Um, the tuning relative G, C, G, C, E, so that's basically old, standard old double C tuning, what Eddie Haggard called one finger C, but you take the first string and you raise it up to E. I'll use this handy dandy electric tuner here and I'll tell you exactly what tuning I'm in if you want to know, because I always tune relative, I tune a good deal lower, so my actual actual tuning here, which I couldn't tell you with, without this tuner. God almighty. Hell I'm doing. Son of a gun. D sharp. G sharp. D sharp. G sharp again. C. That's just where I happen to tune to this by ear. No rhyme or reason to it, but if you want to tune all the way up to standard pitch, it's G, C, G, C, E. Eddie Haggard called that tuning no finger C because it's an open C chord. The strings I'm using are these lovely things from Aquila. These are called New Nile Gut. These were actually designed by our friend Joel Hooks, and Joel is up there in New Hampshire, I'm pretty sure. I'm, he's either in New Hampshire or Vermont. God forgive me, I can't figure out the difference between those two states. But I'm pretty sure he's in, I want to say he's in New Hampshire. So check out Joel Hooks. His website is uh, banjothimble.com. And you can order these strings either from Joel directly at that website, or you can probably find them on the Aquila Nile Gut website. Just look up new Nile Gut. The old Nile Guts frankly kind of suck. These, Joel copied them off of an actual original set of 1890s banjo strings, gut strings. So in here you'll find correct diameters, but you'll also find a wound bass string, a silver wound bass string in here, which makes them sound a lot better. Wound bass strings just got a lot more ass behind it um, as compared to the solid bass strings, which don't sound like much to me. Okay, so how do we play this piece of music? Start off by doing a, a hammer on the third string at the second fret. Then I do a little drop thumb. Do a drop thumb off that second string and then hit it open so you get. And then do your hammer on again. Your drop thumb again. And I like to do a series of slides from the second to the 
fourth fret. Of course, this is a fretless banjo, so who in the hell knows where I'm at, but do a couple of slides going down on your third string and your fourth string. So that gives you When you hear my rooster crow, sprinkle a little meal before I go. <laughs> That's all you got to do for that for that uh, opening part. Next thing you got to do is you got a high part and that high part is so all I'm doing there is I'm sliding twice on the second string from the second to the fourth fret then while I'm holding it down on the fourth fret I do a little drop thumb then I slide back Hit your third string open, then note it the second, then hit it open. So that gives you, Lord, Lord, cooking in the kitchen, Lord, Lord, cooking in the kitchen. The low part, the bass part, I just kind of made that up. It doesn't really go with the rest of it, but I wanted to add a third part. So I just kind of made up this simple bass run. doing is I'm sliding on the bass string from the second to the fourth fret and I hit the third string open then I pull off on that third string at the second fret and quickly slide again and hit the third string open you do it again and you just and you end it by by sliding from the fourth to the second on the bass string so that's about all I need to show you um, so yeah again if you want to check us out on patreon that'd be great this link right here take it to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks if you had trouble visually following the lesson that's okay uh, if you're a beginner you're gonna it's gonna be very difficult to pick up just visually but if you try hard enough you can if you want the tab visit us at that link patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks okay everybody thanks for looking <laughs>